So on that um, on that nostalgia note, Terry Date was a guy who produced a lot of stuff that I grew up listening to from Pantera and the Deftones, and then of course Cleansing. Um, what was what was that period like for you guys? What was it like working with him? Terry was relaxed. I mean, he wasn't really uh, an in-your-face producer, which means he didn't really boss you around that much. I mean, mm-hmm. he sort of worked with the band, and he was more of an engineer and a damn good one. And he was good with guitar tracking, but he didn't really have um, a hell of a lot of input to the songs or uh, input to the vocals. It was sort of like he let you do whatever the hell you wanted to do. Yeah, and just mixed it. Yeah, he he made yeah, he was a good he good guy to be around. Sure. Um but uh compared to like Mark Dodson who produced Prove You Wrong and uh Beg to Differ, he was much more active in in uh, criticizing the songs and uh or maybe re- helping rearrange a couple of things and working with the vocals, etc. Um and then later on when I worked with Steve Evitz who produced Carved Into Stone, uh, he was a, a total he, a, a head coach where he would just be uh, you know, in control of every aspect of the record and uh, you know, just really beating everybody into shape, you know, from Alexi the drummer at that time to me vocally, and, you know, just he was a slave driver. Okay. So... <laughs> Terry was more of a Terry was just a more relaxed dude. It was great at guitar tracking, and you know he sort of was a. Uh, it was didn't really didn't really have too much control over the, the whole session as much as uh, some other guys. That's cool. Yeah, he definitely has a signature sound. You know, I feel like yeah. all those albums have the that like that that heavy sound that is just unmistakably. He's a great engineer, great guitar engineer. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of uh, tricks to that. I mean, uh, I remember the hours. This is a different era too. We were working on tape, and it was no uh, mm-hmm. technology. Everything was outboard gear, and there was no uh, plugins and things that we have worked with today. So, you know, he would just be sitting there all day long, like you know, back and forth with the tape, trying to like EQ certain things. It's just a very tedious process on on those records years ago. Oh, wow. 